Alrighty guys, so this video is going to be kind of all over the place and this is just stuff that I want to keep you guys updated on going on in the Phoenix Suns world. So with that being said, you guys make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. And let's talk about it. That's right, you guys. So Chris Paul did return to the lineup and had a great performance. And after beating the Denver Nuggets the other night, Devin Booker put on an MVP performance, scoring 49 points. And with that win, the Phoenix Suns locked down the top seed for the 2022 playoffs and home court advantage throughout the entire postseason, which is absolutely awesome. You guys, they are closing in on a franchise record with just eight games to go. It's crazy to think that we only have eight games to go in this awesome Phoenix Suns season that has absolutely flown by. It has been a blast. You guys, it is championship or bust for the Phoenix Suns. This team just wants to win, but we got to get through the playoffs first. And I am so excited for the NBA playoffs. And you guys, just like last year, Monty Williams should have won coach of the year. And he's definitely going to win it again this year. If he doesn't, the NBA is absolutely rigged. But I want to talk about what Monty Williams said today in shoot around. He was talking about last year and how, you know, he obviously didn't win coach of the year and really his reaction when he found out that Tom Thibodeau won coach of the year. And basically Monty Williams said this, he said that he heard everyone in the hallway. He heard everyone's reactions. He said that that was enough for him. He said that he didn't need the award after he heard everyone's reactions. He didn't need that validation. He said that when the news broke, all of his players were upset and once again, that was enough for him. He said that no war, no award can replace that. He said that you don't go into the season wanting to be coach of the year. He said you go into the season trying to help your players, trying to help your organization. That is one reason why I absolutely love Monty Williams. He is so humble. He is so smart. And that's just a really mature way of looking at being snubbed for the coach of the year. I love you, Monty Williams. That's freaking awesome, man. That's right, you guys. So Cameron Johnson is working his way back from injury. And Monty Williams did say that he did do everything today. There were some videos of him practicing and warming up and getting some cardio in and all that. But Monty Williams did say that he doesn't see him playing in the next couple of days. He wants to see how he responds to the practice. So he's still making his way back. But you guys, this is just one of those situations where I am fine with players like Cameron Johnson taking as much time as they need and basically just saving them for the playoffs. And speaking of Phoenix Suns players, you guys, Gabriel if a Lundberg is in Phoenix, but he hasn't really joined the team yet because he's still going through the process. I mean, it took him a while to get here because he was making his way over to America. This situation is kind of a day-by-day -day thing. I mean, we're probably not going to see him for a few games, but it would be cool to see him like out of Phoenix Suns practice, getting some shots up and all that. But Gabriel Ife Lumberg is in Phoenix, and I'm so excited to see him play. Also, you guys, I absolutely love this mentality from Tory Craig. He said an awesome quote. He was talking to the media about the upcoming schedule, and Tory Craig said, and I quote, What do we got? Eight games left? We're trying to get to 68 wins. 68 wins would be absolutely incredible, you guys. Let me know down below in the comment section how many games you think the Phoenix Suns are going to win this season. Keep in mind, you guys, our franchise record is 62, so all we got to do is just win three games to break that franchise record. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Phoenix Suns update video. As always, guys, make sure to leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Suns! Oh, man, I'm not going to lie to you guys. That kind of took me a while. I don't know why I was, like, so rusty. I just, like, couldn't get the words out for this video. It took me a lot. It took me a little, took me a little bit of time to record this video. I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs>